Good evening from Quarry Lumber. It's been a nice day today. We're going to have a look around the local food market, street food market. Well, this is right next to my condo. Well, just on the corner. It's called Camp on Baru. There's a mosque just nearby. It must be a call up for the evening prayer. Now, I did a little recce here. I had a look around last night. On my way to, uh, if you never seen last night's vlog, I did the lights and the nightlife of uh, Kuala Lumpur. So if you never caught that one, have a look, check it out. Absolutely amazing Kuala Lumpur at night. Really lights up the skyline. And the nightlife, crazy, absolutely insane. Yeah, catch up with that vlog. But, well, when I walked on this one yesterday, last night, I never seen any for, uh, tourists at all. So it's very, very uh, popular with the with the locals. So we'll check it out. Get some food. I'm hungry, looking forward to this one. This is my last night in Kuala Lumpur, being here for a week. Really enjoyed it. It has been a little bit of a struggle for content because really there's three things you can do if you're not going around the touristy things. Well, there's a million vlogs on. Uh, shopping, food and drink. I don't drink that much anymore. I'm not really into me shopping. Or I did do a fake market vlog when I first got here. And eating food. I love me food. So that's what we're going to do now. Poo to pooing. Kaya ball. I might get some of them on the way back. I think you get chocolate ones. You know what I'm like for chocolate if you watch if you watch uh, my other vlogs. Sweet corn, very popular sweet corn. But what I'll do, I'll walk down one side, get some to eat down the bottom. I've already got my eye on somewhere from last night. And uh, we'll come back up the other side when I'm on the way back. I want to do a vlog at um, the uh, condo building as well tonight uh, from the top I'm on the 42nd uh, floor there's only 43 and you get a right good view of the uh, Patronus towers and all the, the night lines lit up so we're going to catch that one that'll be on the next vlog I don't want to mix them both up because some people don't want to mix the street food with their condos so I'll put them in two different ones and you get a better idea then It's 7 p.m. in the evening now, so everybody's just starting to come out. It looks like a type of buffet place. Very busy. Saturday night. Everybody's out. There's all your fruit drinks. Very popular in Asia. You get great fruit in Asia, so why not? Clams on the barbecue. Menu. Oh, it's a drink. It's a drink menu. Yes, very, very popular with the uh, with a lot of Kuala Lumpers. Kuala Lumpens? Is that what they're called? Hi, uh, you're right. Papa Kanafa. They look good. 
lasagna, biryani. Yeah, I'm going to come back up. I'm just going to do this and then come back up and then eat. Thank you. They look like a right good dessert. I walked on this side because uh, where I want to be going is down there. Where I seen the place last night. I also did a, a vlog while I was here on uh, on a couple of traditional Malaysian meals. Nasi Lemak and the Ramli Burger. Ramli Burgers are amazing. Really good. So if you never caught that, get on it. I'll have a walk down and then uh, I'll come back up this side. But yeah, the uh, the nasi lemak. I mean, is it ayam goran? The uh, chicken, really, really nice. It's like a fried chicken, um, crispy on the outside, and really tender on the inside. And then you get the rice, egg. Oh, what's what I'm doing here? <laughs> I think there's not many more to go here. A little fish stall, there's some crabs. There's the clams again. I'm not too sure how far we are away from the sea here. Yeah? Very popular, the seafood. We do, mate, you alright? Some more clams there. To show my viewers all your good food in the, oh, in the market. Hopefully, many people will come. Thank you. Yeah, Uncle D, seafood and grill. No. Looks very good. Very fresh. Yeah. Snapper, is it? Ah, yeah. Red snapper. Red yeah. Oh, good, good. Thank you. Sniper? Is that snapper? We call it snapper in the UK, a red snapper. I think it must be the same. Uh, mango sticky rice. Oh, only got some banana. Banana and sticky rice wrapped in a uh, banana leaf. If you watch the, uh, if you watch the channel, you know that's one of my favourites. Right, well, I'm going that way, Anna. Yeah, the food in Malaysia has been really, really good. You have so much choice. Uh, there's food from all around the world. Because you have so many different cultures here. Um, the, the Indian culture has been going back for hundreds of years in, um, in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur especially. You have a big, big uh, Indian community in Kuala Lumpur. This is brilliant, really, really good. I've, I've mentioned this before. Flags everywhere. Very, very patriotic of the Malaysians, and I encourage that. I mentioned this a lot in the um, in my first impressions uh, when I first come to Kuala Lumpur. The Malaysians are very, very patriotic. That's brilliant. It really is brilliant. This is a very, very local area. You just look at all the flags. And this is all over the city. It's not just in one place, it's, it's everywhere. Um, on the buildings, you have um, on the hotels and banks, everything, you have big, um, big flags going all the way down the full building. It looks absolutely amazing. I'd love the UK to be like that. But political correctness, gone wrong in the UK, unfortunately. You just don't get that, you don't get flags on the top of churches, on the top of governmental buildings, yeah. 
But not everywhere like this. There's the patrollers again. You never seen it last night. Yeah, last night we had a look around all the lights. Um all around the city and then went I went down to the nightlife area. We checked out um the see the street food and then the nightlife. It was absolutely mayhem. Absolute mayhem. Really, really busy. Kuala Lumpur really comes alive at night. There's the bridge that we walked across last night. We walked through there. It changes colours, it goes across the road and that leads on to the Patronas. The Patronas Towers. And uh, it changes colours as you're walking through. It looks really good, really good. There you can see there it's in the colours of the um, Malaysian flag. Chocolate waffles. <laughs> Uncle's best fried chicken. Now this is the little street food market that I was coming to. This is where I come. I walked past here last night. And something that caught my eye. I think it was this stall. Yeah, lamb chops. I do love me lamb chops. Hi, right, do you have a menu? A menu? Menu. Please. Do you do lamb chops? Lamb chops. Is in there? Oh, yeah, thank you. There's a Romney burger, Rotties. I got another Romney burger from here last night. Have you seen um, when I did the Nasi Lemak? I had um, a Romney burger in with that vlog. For two nights in a row, I had the Romney burger. A little bit addicted to them. Really, really nice. And very, very cheap. You look at a triple with cheese. Where is it? Yeah. Triple with cheese, Romney burger. A triple burger with salad, loads of cheese, 10 ringgit. Right, so I'll put the uh, exchange in the description as always. But just for argument's sake, that's like uh, £1.70, just over $2. Brilliant value for money. Three burgers. Right, let's see if we can find uh, these lamb chops. Uh, this looks like the one. Oh, we've got the football on. Wow. Solango, very good, eh? <laughs> Is that best team in Malaysia? Best team in Malaysia? Yeah, yeah. Champions. 11 2. 11 2, crazy. 11 2. Do you have a menu? Yeah. A menu? Do you have a menu? Uh, a menu of your food? Oh. Menu. Menu, a menu please. A menu? Menu, menu. You do uh, lamb chops? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Thank you. This, lamb chop. Uh, what do you come with fries? Yeah, fries. Can I help, please? Thank you, I'll just sit down here. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you do beer? Yes, I guess you could not have sambal or mango. Oh, I love a mango. 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 Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
I'd rather have had a beer. There's not many places to do beer in Malaysia. Muslim country, isn't it? What can you do? Go with the tradition. Right, I'm going to park myself here and I'll get you back home when the lamb shops come out. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Um, the, it's the first time I've had uh, fries since I've been in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, well, not Kuala Lumpur, since I've been in Asia. It's not something you really go for, the, uh, Western dishes, when you're away. But why, when you've got unbelievable Asian food? Give a little look at this market. Look at all the flags. Just randomly on all the restaurants, everywhere. Brilliant. Really, really love that. Everywhere should be proud of the country. Everywhere should be able to show, show the banners of the country, the flags. Like I was saying in the in first impressions, if you fly your flags in the UK, it seems racist. Uh, unless there's a sporting event going on, and then when the sporting event's finished, you've got to take them down. Otherwise, you'll face legal action from the council. You have them on the churches and the town halls and things like that, just one flag on the top. But uh, no, it's. Uh, it's ridiculous. Political correctness. That was what the word I was looking for when I did that first impressions vlog. We're on. Look at that. That looks really good. Looks like a, like a fruity gravy. There's a chips. Like a spicy... Uh, Spicy coleslaw. Put you over there. There's the mango. Mango juice. Let's try this lamb out. Nice bit of fat on the side. I like a nice bit of fat in your lamb. As long as it's not too much. That's what gives it the flavour. Bit that sort of song. Don't want to get it on the table. Oh. With that fruit and sauce, it doesn't have mixed well. That's amazing, really, really nice. I know I say this about every meal. Um, you do have a few a few misses, but I always have a look before places and uh, I try not to do food vlogs, but I know I'm not going to be good, you know, so... If it wasn't good, I would say. Oh yeah. It's not too foody, just a little bit. But, uh, it's evident you can really taste it, but with the lamb it mixes really, really well. That's delicious, it really is. Fries! Fries in Asia! Oh, you'll know, you see me doing food reviews all the time, and you know I've, I've never had fries in Asia. They're frozen, but you wouldn't expect anything else. Um, they're not frozen now, but they were frozen fries. But they're not nice, nice. We, people in Asia don't eat fries, so that, that's what you'd expect. I wouldn't expect anything else. Let's try out the mango. I could hear a uh, blend in it. Oh, look at that. There's mango on the top. It's really, really good. Really nice and creamy. Mango. Thailand's national fruit. In Malaysia. Right, I'll get this wiped out, as always. And then I'll get back onto you with the prices. And we'll check out the rest of the street food market. See if I can find some chocolate. I might get them chocolate balls. Look really good. As always, the proof's on the plate. 
They were both absolutely delicious. The mango smoothie, it was just so fresh and so, so smooth. It was absolutely delicious. The lamb, um, great, absolutely great. It was a little bit fatty, but you need that with lamb. That, that, that's what lamb's all about. When you're cooking it, you get the juices coming through, and, and you, you get fat and lamb come together. It's like a bit of fat with beef. You know, it's got to be you, the come part and part, part and parcel. Yeah, that was delicious. It really was good. And I'll pay the bill and I'll show you what the restaurant's called, just in case you do come to Quad Rumba. You know what street food market it is. And I'll get you back on and we'll go and see the other street, uh, the other side of the street food market. What a lovely lady. And a new subscriber. How are Western? Really, really good restaurant. If you're in this street food market, highly, highly recommend it. Here's the lady. Do you, um, you want, can you like, is it okay camera? It's okay. Yeah, yeah, what's your name? Uh, my name is Justina. Justina? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, this is lovely, Justina. She's your, your restaurant? No, uh, the owner is... Oh, right, right. Oh, Justina, she's a lovely girl. Did I tell you on the restaurant? Ah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's okay. I got you. Thank you very much, Christina. Okay, thank you. you have a nice evening. Okay, thank you. Sir. Thank you, man. Uh, the owner didn't want to be on camera. I fully respect that. Some people don't like it. Yeah, brilliant. How are restaurant? How are Western? Really, really good. Right, let's go and find out where the rest of the street food is. Oh, it was a uh, twenty-seven ringgit altogether. So that was 20 ringgit for the lamb chops and seven for the smoothie. Again, look in the description, but cheap, cheap. Not as cheap as normal for Malaysian dishes, but in the lamb chops, you expect that. The Malaysian flag on the tunnel. Yeah, if you went to anywhere in any Western country, you would be paying five times that in any restaurant. I don't care where you are. Brilliant. Really, really nice. And Justina, what a lovely lady. Before I go down the other side, I just want to give a shout out to somebody who's bought me three copies tonight, or three brews as they are. It'd be, it'd be one an official shout out with your name. If you could leave your name on the, on the message that you sent me. Or you could stay anonymous, it's up to you. Uh, I'd, otherwise, I don't get to see your name. But the lady left, the lady old gentleman left a great message. Um, let me just check it out. Just so you know that, that it's you. Your vlogs are great to watch. My daughter and I look forward to being taken on an adventure each time we tune in. I enjoy your honest reviews and all the different content. Refreshing as, refreshing as vlogs can be very repetitive. It's obvious how much you respect the culture and the people. It really comes across. I look forward to the next one. That is extremely touching and it gives me a right boost. It really does. But another supporter of the channel, thank you so much. And like I say, if anyone buys me a brew, if you just when you send a message, just leave your name on it, if you want to, and I'll give you a shout out on the channel. Thank you. Right, let's get up this other side of this market and see if we can find some chocolate. I know it's not Malaysian food tonight, but it is. It was lamb chops, and I fancied some something uh, something a bit different. I haven't had nothing like that, like I say, since I've been in uh, since I've been in Asia for the last few months. So it was a little treat for me. I go back in Thailand tomorrow. Uh, Bangkok and then I want to see where I'll go from there I um, mentioned in one of my earlier vlogs that um, I met um, a lad called Jay for his uh, manager with the Kanchanaburi football team so I'm going to go and see him and we'll probably get a few vlogs out from Kanchanaburi and then which country I go to from Thailand I'm not too sure I never know I'll do some research See where's the best place to go. See where I can find some good food, some good sights. Something different for you to see. And then you'll find out.
Clams are very popular. There's the red snapper again. Coconut and sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato is very popular in Asia. Thailand and Malaysia. I think that's like pickled fruits, Assam Jeruk. Not too sure about that, might be sweets. There's your sweet corn again. Kampumbaru, one jaw. See, I haven't seen any tourists. It's uh, it's all Malaysians. That's when you know you're getting the best food and the best prices. I know I'm going about prices all the time, but if you're travelling or you're going all day or you want to go and visit somewhere. It's good to find out the budget options so that you can travel more, you can do more stuff, you can do more touristy things and not have to spend so much money. I mean, I know I don't do many touristy things because I like to get off the beaten track, I like to show you things that you don't see all the time. The sticks of lamb and sticks of chicken. He took a tumble off his bike there, bless him. I wouldn't have got it on camera. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't. Right, let's see what's going on here. Carrier ball, which one was I going to see? Was it him or him? I think it was this guy. Ooh, smells good. Hi, mate. Is coconut? Yeah. Coconut? Coconut? Ah, yeah. Coconut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could I have uh, five, please? Yeah. Five? Five ringgit. Okay. Thank you. One coconut, jam, chocolate, or mix? Oh, okay. chocolate, please. Uh, yeah. Chocolate, yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate yeah. only. Chocolate only, yes, please. I've had coconut. Okay. Ah, chocolate as well. I've had chocolate ones, just coconut. Okay, yeah, I've had the coconut many times, but never chocolate. So yeah, chocolate would be good. So just chocolate. No chocolate. Just chocolate, yeah. All all chocolate. All chocolate? Yes please. But uh chocolate already six six. Yeah. Please. Six and six coconut. Okay. Uh can I yeah yeah do that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Twelve five ringgit. You want plastic bag? No. Eh, no, it's okay. I eat now. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Have a good okay. evening. Adam, are you ready to go? Uh, ten. What twelve? Twelve.
Yeah, 12, 5 of each. 5 ringgit. Oh, cheap. Very, very cheap. I've never had chocolate ones before. Alright, let's see if I can find somewhere to check this out. Good as close as any. Well, you've got to eat these when they're hot. When they cool down, they're not as nice. Oh, that is hot. We'll go down there. A bit more light. Oh, that's very hot. It's like um, a very, very, very light batter. They're not like the ones I get in Thailand. That, that these taste. They're, they're very much lighter. Very popular down here. See all the cars going by. Trying to carry that many things, the trousers are falling down. <laughs> There's a Mustang. Here we look at the car. Evening prayers must be started again. Now I'm not going to lie, this wakes me up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't mind because it's alright now, I go to bed early. There's my condo there, that building there, and I'm up on the 42nd floor. And you can see the pool, that's the one that's, um, that's just along that side there. That's like where the pool and the, um, that's on the 35th floor. They get the sauna, the pool, the gym, and then there's the mosque. Park, oh, it's a bike rack, it's not a comfortable seat. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it looks like a little roast potato. It's a very light batter. And you've got the coconut and the chocolate, or, or chocolate inside, whichever one. Oh, oh chocolate. That's really, really nice. Five ringgit, dead cheap. As always, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little street food tour. If you want to catch me on tomorrow's vlog, we'll get to see the condo, pool, steam room, sauna. Brilliant place and really cheap. I look forward to joining you on the next one. See you later, have a good day.